Now, instead of enjoying a religious event welcoming in the Myanmar New Year, the country's military on Sunday cracked down on a series of peaceful protests, killing over two dozen people. Om Jiong with more. What should have been joyful traditional New Year holiday in Myanmar has turned into bloodshed. According to Myanmar's media outlet Irrawaddy on Sunday local time, at least 26 citizens were killed during the holidays, bringing the death toll to 738 since the February 1st coup. The death toll is expected to rise further as many of injured are in critical condition or are still missing. Up until last year, the five-day Tinjin Water Festival saw people celebrating in the streets, splashing water on each other to wish good luck. But this year, celebrations were called off to honor those killed by the military junta and to stage peaceful protests against the dictatorship. That didn't stop the regime from cracking down on the peaceful protests. Five civilians were violently killed last Tuesday and more than a dozen were injured in a small town in the Mandalay region when regime forces opened fire on residents while plundering public donations collected for the town's striking railway staff. On the same day, a couple riding a motorbike who were returning home after selling milk were shot dead in the border town of Tamu. Also on Wednesday, a 25-year-old male was shot in the Mandalay region while driving a motorbike and then was dragged away and tortured to death. Nine people were shot dead on Thursday as well. Victims are expected to increase as another 200 military troops were dispatched on Sunday to suppress the protests. Om Jiong, Arirang News.